It's the final of the 2015 Songs of Praise School Choir of the Year competition. After two closely fought semis, the remaining six junior and senior choirs are preparing to sing again for a chance to lift this year's trophy. to the Albert Hall in Nottingham and what an exciting final we have lined up for you. We'll be hearing from the senior choirs and special guests only boys allowed a little later but first it's the turn of our junior choirs who are all vying to win this, the famous trophy. Uh, should we meet them? They are from the Queen's School Chester, Queen's Young Voices. <laughs> from Kaneshi, Eskoliai, Tangenech. And from Huddersfield, Lindley Junior School. <laughs> wow, it sounds like they've got some uh, friends in, doesn't it? Plenty of very excited supporters in the hall for our junior finalists, quite right too. Before we hear from our first school, I'd like to introduce my co-host and fellow Songs of Praise presenter. It's Josie Darby. <laughs> now, you're going to be interviewing the choirs backstage when they've sung. Um, it's going to be tense. There could be tears. There could be, but there'll be tears of joy, Ali, because everyone's so excited to have made it to this final. I think they're thrilled to be here singing in this beautiful hall for their friends and family. So I've just turned up for some beautiful singing. Well, you go and get yourself ready. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank Josie Darby. <laughs> now it's time to meet the judges whose job it is to choose our winning choir today, rather them than me. Our first judge has won two Brits and several MOBO awards, had five number one hits with his band JLS, and no doubt his picture has featured on many a teenage wall, much like mine. <laughs> it all started for him, though, when he joined his school choir. It's JB Gill! <laughs> Our next judge is also a singer, classically trained, but you'll probably know her as the vocal coach for The Voice UK. When she's not working with the likes of Susan Boyle, Ollie Murs, and Sam Smith, she's coaching West End stars or filming in the States. Please welcome the lovely Evie Burnett. <laughs> and our final judge is a choir director and true champion of choral singing. He created Only Men Allowed, who went on, of course, to win the BBC competition last choir standing. Two more choirs followed, only boys allowed and only kids allowed. So this is a man who's passionate about getting young people singing. It is, of course, Tim Bruce Evans. <laughs> Our judges, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, here's a reminder for you at home how the junior choirs got into the final. Some excellent singing there in the semi-finals, but now each choir has to wow the judges once again, this time with their inspirational choice. Going first are the Queen's School Chester, Queen's Young Voices. Thank you. 
Tim, what an amazing uh, start to this final. Singing and choreography. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. It's, it's, I mean, choreography is the term that uh, people are using. <laughs> oh, is every... it? Yes, that's, yes. The, uh, what I loved was the detail and the precision. So congratulations for that. But it would have been, I, I think, going further with this piece, just roughing it up a little bit so it's got a bit, of, bit more grit uh, in the performance. But, but well done all for moving it in the right places at the right times. Thank you, Tim. JB, I think I'm right in remembering that uh, JLS used to use this move. <laughs> Probably among many. But, but it's hard to sing and move at the same time, isn't it? It is. I mean, I don't know it as choreography, but I just love the dance moves. That's what I call it. Um, I loved it. I, I loved the arrangement. It felt like fun. The only thing I would probably say is I just felt like I needed a, a few more dynamics just to grit it up a little bit. Um, but, uh, I mean, overall, it was a very accomplished start to the, the final, and, and good luck. Thank you, judges, and uh, thank you to Queen's Young Voices. Well done. <laughs> Choralography. That's a new word for me. <laughs> Had you heard it before, Minty? Uh, yes. Oh, you knew all about that, did you? And what's it like having to learn those moves as well as sing perfectly? It's quite hard, but when we get it, it's really fun. And what was it like performing in the final? Amazing. It was so fun and energetic and just exciting. Well, our next junior choir finalists are from Llanelli, Ysgoliai, Llangenich. Evie, some great high notes and some uh, pretty impressive low ones as well, eh? 
Yes, a bit of everything. And it was such a contrast from the last song that you sung for us. And that's what was so impressive because we knew you were good at singing lullaby, soft, beautiful songs like that. But we didn't know if you had the power because we didn't hear it last time. And then this time you brought us power. You brought us a huge crescendo at the end. And the audience nearly <laughs> threw the roof off the building because they were so pleased with it. And it was deserved. And thank you for that wonderful performance. Thank you. It was, uh, it was a joy to listen uh, to your performance. Uh, most of it was in three parts, and every one of them was equal. We always heard the melody uh, coming through, uh, which, is, which for a choir of your age uh, is really quite something. So uh, you should be really proud of yourselves, because that was, that was very, very fun. <laughs> What an amazing response from the audience. How did that feel? Oh, amazing, outstanding. Did you enjoy your final performance? Yes, we had amazing comments and nearly the whole crowd um, gave us a standing ovation. So we're very pleased with that. It's going well, isn't it? The last choir in the junior competition final to perform their inspirational song is from Huddersfield. It's Lindley Junior School Choir.